I always like learning. Even though I'm a teacher, I'm always curious about things. I always want to know new things. I always want to develop. Now, I feel so lucky because I'm surrounded by students, people that are always learning and growing and trying to improve themselves. We have a great bunch of students here. And where are you from? <laughs> Let's have a great time today. The 122nd Challenger of Super Kids is us. Seoul Sajang Elementary School. Let us show you around our school. In the morning, the school grounds are full of kids running. Every morning, all the students go for a run to stay fit and healthy. There are various special activity classes so that they can develop their special talents. The violin class is full of students who want to become the next Sarah Chang. They have such small hands, but see how serious and focused they are. Also, there are golf lessons taught by a professional coach so that the students get off to a good start with sound basics. The archery class teaches the children mental discipline as well as training their physical abilities. As you can see, the students of Sejong Elementary School are busy learning all kinds of things. Smart, healthy, and well-mannered. We are the students of Sajang Elementary School. Cheer for us on Sparky. Super Kids의 참가한 서정 어린 여러분 사랑합니다. 평소 갖고 다닐 실력을 이번 기회에 마음껏 발휘하여 좋은 성적을 거두고 또한 즐거운 추억도 만들기 바랍니다. 서정 어린 여러분. 아자자! 음. 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 Now, last week we kind of had a highlight. Someone predicted, yeah, our team's going to get a perfect score, and they did. It was awesome. I was speaking to my friend George Clooney. He really liked the last episode. Uh, he liked that highlight. Anyway, uh, George, if you're watching, please uh, enjoy this. We're going to have a good time. Four teams, two advance. They got to have higher scores than the other teams. Perfect score 12. It can obviously go down to zero, but only two can advance. You can hear a lot of good hints in a lot of neat categories. Let's meet our first team. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. And would you like to read to the audience our categories? Cinema, my room, long things, broadcasting station, and in the forest, and summer. Okay, so if you could get one, we don't know what's going to, you know, be connected to the letter. Which would you like? Summer or my room. Okay, let's see the letters. C. C? Long things! Oh, man! Okay, let's see if that comes up. Let's go to long things. This is a long fruit that has yellow skin. Banana. This runs on a railway. Pass. A long animal that sometimes bites people. Snake. The longest river in the world. Amazon. You need this to play drums. Stick. 
A thin tube for drinking. Straw. You can cross a river with this. Bridge. A tall animal with a very long neck. Giraffe. You take this wide road to go from Seoul to Busan. Train. This animal has a long nose. Elephant. You use this for measuring. Ruler. These are long, thin socks made of nylon. Snake thing. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good job. Pretty good job. Okay, they got a total of nine points. Pretty good for our first warm-up team. Let's have another team come on out. All right, first team did pretty good. Let's meet our second team. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, let's check out the letters. Which B. Is B. Cinema. Do you like movies? Yeah. And when you go to the movies, what kind of stuff do you eat? Popcorn. Ah, let's see if that comes out. I think they're ready. Here we go, to the cinema. A popular snack at the movies. Popcorn. Paris is the capital of this country. Busan. This shows bits of a movie before it is actually played. DVD player. A scary movie. Uh, penny movie. Movies are shown on this big white thing. Brain. A place that shows movies. Perth. An international film festival happens here in Korea. Beijing. Actors walk on this at film festivals. This person makes a movie. Director. The person who comes out in a movie. Actor. People who watch a movie. Uh, audience. You need this to make a home movie. Press. Paris is the capital of this Friends. country. This shows bits of a movie before it is actually played. Uh, okay. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not as well as the first team, but still pretty good. They got the popcorn that came out right away. Uh, and they got a total of six points. All right, let's have the next team come on out. Good job. All right. Now, as you have seen, sometimes it's just listening to the hint really well and saying the answer that comes with that hint, which is the best way to do it, rather than looking and trying to find the word. Just hear it and say something. We'll see how well our next two teams do. Here's our third team. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. And which category would you like to come up? Um, maybe my room. My room, okay. Are there some things that you really like about your room? Mm, I really like computer. I see, all right. Well, let's see what the letters are. Maybe A. A is the choice. Oh, broadcasting station, look around you. Sometimes it's not just a matter of picturing things, it's a matter of looking and seeing things. Okay, here we are in a broadcasting station. Let's see what comes out. Here we go. Singers sing into this. Microphone. Someone who takes charge of making television programs. Pass. The host of a TV show. Pass. Singers and actors are kinds of this. Producer. You can listen to the news or music through this. Mm. Pass. Comedians come out and make you laugh. Comedy show. A special room where TV shows are produced and broadcasted. Pass. Korea's global broadcasting station. Pass. When actors make a mistake. NG. The main announcer on a news program. MC. Tejangum is a kind of this. Drama. This tells you the weather in advance. Someone who takes charge of making television programs. MC. The host of a TV show. Radio. All right. Not so easy. Normally, we like to give people a tour of the place, but uh, didn't have a lot of time. Now, one thing you gotta know 
is that Arirang TV is indeed Korea's uh, television place, broadcasting studio station that brings the best of Korea to the world. Did you know that? <laughs> okay, they got a total of four points and we have one more team to go. Come on out, guys. Okay, one more team to go in this studio room type place. <laughs> All right, we'll see what category they get. Hi, how are you? I'm a little nervous. A little nervous, it's natural. So am I, a little bit n -n 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 nervous. And we have a couple letters to go. Let's see. D. D? Finally, my room came out. Are you happy about that? Yes. Good, pretty confident? Yes. And we'd like a prediction. How many points do you think your team will score? 11. 11, we shall see. Let's go to my room. You open this to enter a room. Door. You sleep on this. Bed. You can play games and use the internet Computer. with this. You keep your clothes in this. Closet. You read stories from these. Book. This tells you the day and date. Calendar. This tells you the time. Clock. You can see yourself in this. Mirror. You carry school books in it. Back. You keep your photos in this. iPhone. iPhone. You sit at this when you study. Desk. Robots and dolls Toy. are kinds of this. You Back carry down. school books in it. Backpack. Oh, yeah! Oh. Well, they thought they'd get 11. 11 points? You're wrong! You got 12, a perfect score! Awesome! Let's go to the next round! Our mission now is to go from 20 students uh, to 10, eventually five. But right now, these guys who have studied in advance, oh, they've studied and they prepared and they're ready for questions. These guys will do battle one against one. You want to find out what they studied? Here. The Nutcracker by E.T.A. Hoffman. A kind-hearted girl receives a nutcracker for Christmas. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship and exciting adventure. Let's follow the nutcracker to a wonderful world where toys come to life. I have a couple of nutcrackers at home. Uh, here's one here. Okay, let's have two contestants. Come on out! Hi, number one. Let me ask you what you like to do in your free time. Mm, computer or playing piano. Okay, play piano, do the computer, awesome. How about you, number 11? Um, reading books and playing computer games. Okay, so you got that computer thing in common. Very good. Here's your question. The Nutcracker is not just a story, but also a famous ballet with music composed by this Russian composer. Who is he? Number 11. Uh, Tchaikovsky. Very good. Excellent job. Tchaikovsky is correct. Tchaikovsky. And it's great music. And uh, every Christmas, I like checking out some kind of Nutcracker ballet. Let's have two more. Come on out. Number two, when you have a chance to spend time with mom and dad on the weekend, I don't know, at the park, what do you like to do with mom and dad? Mm, I like to... I like the red. Okay, all right. Um, Number 12, same question. You go watch movies, you go around the park, you do anything with mom and dad? I usually go to cinema and watch movie. All right, excellent. 
All right, guys, if you're ready, ladies, here's your question. Where was the writer of the Nutcracker, E.T.A. Hoffman, born? Number two. Germany. That's correct. Good job. Okay, Ms. Giraffe, and we will have two more. Come on out. Who was the first person to find a Nutcracker doll under the Christmas tree? Yes, number 13. Oh, Mari. You got it. Very good job. The Nutcracker got into a fight with a group of this animal. Number 14. Mouse. Yep. Mary threw this at the Mouse King and saved number 15. Slipper. You got it. You got it. Which of the following was not Mary's toy? Yes, number six. D. Good job. Wow. How many heads did the Mouse King have? Number seven. Seven. Yeah! <laughs> Very good. The Nutcracker gave these to Mary as a gift for celebrating victory over the Mouse King. Number 18. A crown of the King Red. Crown. Yeah. Okay, let's go to two more. Okay, number nine. Do you have a favorite sport? Soccer. And do you play any position, or is there a certain position you like more than others? Midfielder. Midfield. So you're doing a lot of running? Yeah. Okay, how about you, number 19? Do you have a favorite sport? Yes, yeah, soccer. Again, and are you attack or defense, uh, goalkeeper? Goalkeeper. Goalkeeper. Well, big guy, look like you could uh, block some of those kicks. Okay, here is a question for you. After the battle with the Mouse King, the Nutcracker took Mary to this place. Number nine. Uh, door Palace. We'll take it. The Doll Kingdom. Good job. And uh, midfield. Did some good running there. We have two more to do battle. Come on out, guys. So, number 10, what's your future dream? I don't know if I. Future no future dream. dream? Okay. Any person you really admire at school? No. Certain teacher? No. Okay. How about you, number 20? Do you have a future dream yet? Mm, doctor. To become a doctor. Why is that? Mm. Uh, I like people. Good. So. Whew. She likes people. Let's have a question hopefully you'll like. Godfather Drosselmeyer told Mary and Fritz a story about the hard nut. What? Number 10. Crocodile nut. Yeah. Well, we did it. We went from 20 to 10, and now we'll give a chance to those on the sidelines, those 30. We'll give a chance for four to come back. Join us for some help.
If you saw last episode, you may remember that the super kid, not the school champion, but the super kid came from a group like this. Of 30, four can move on. That person eventually became the super kid. So hey, these guys are for real. That just happened last episode, very exciting. And every step episode, we're excited to have this lady help us. Hi, Dobby. Hey, Isaac, and hey, everyone over there. Um, well, I'm here to help. And I also hope that the four winners will go on and maybe become the super kid, just like last time. Well, you know, when I was back in the States, we used dollars. And in Korea, we use one. Um, so let's see if you know which, what kind of money that these, that these countries use. Now listen carefully. Of the following countries, one uses a different type of money. Which one is it? France, Greece, Turkey, or Spain? So countries have their money system. U.S. has dollars, Korea has won. Of these countries, France, Greece, Turkey, Spain, which one uses different money? Some of them use the same money. Which one country uses a different kind of money? It's almost multiple choice, isn't it? Five, four, three, two, one. Hold your, yep, hold your boards up. Raise those boards, let's see what you got. And the answer is turkey. Hold them up, hold them up, hold them up, hold them up. Hold it up, hold it up. Keep it up, keep it up, raise it high. Okay, so how many of you out there actually watch the news? Well, if you've seen the news lately, this might help you out with this question. This sudden shaking of the ground sometimes cracks the land and causes buildings to fall down. Recently, this happened in China, and many people are suffering because of it. What is it? Yes, happened in China, happens in California a lot. What is this? Sometimes the sudden shaking of the ground cracks land, destroys buildings, Unfortunately, in the news and the cause of a lot of suffering. Five, four, three, two, one. Raise your boards. The answer is earthquake. Earthquake. I think almost everybody got it. Okay, for this question, it's a math question. So it might be a good idea to take down some notes while I'm reading the question. Now listen carefully. A bus with 35 passengers made a stop, and five people got off, and seven people got on. At the second stop, 12 people got off, and at the third stop, six people got on. How many passengers are now on the bus? I'll say it again very slowly. There was a bus, had 35 passengers, made a stop. Five people got off, seven got on. Second stop, 12 got off. Third stop, six got on. How many now? Five. One, raise those boards! I see a lot of right answers. The right answer is... 31! 31, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Will one of these four go to the very end to become the school champion? We shall see. But all we know for sure is they will absolutely join the other 10 in the next round. Thank you so much for your help, Tommy. You're welcome, Isaac, and congratulations to the four winners. And who knows, there might be the super kid right there in that group. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, are you ready? Shall we go?
Okay, let's go to the next round. Let's go to the next round. That's it. There's no more comebacks, no more second chances. That is it. It's only elimination from now on. And of these 14 who did a great job so far, five will move on to those power positions and have a serious quiz show. It's pretty serious. Yeah, it's getting more and more serious. Okay, now these guys will be given questions, given hints really about topics. Four hints per topic. Will they get it on the first hint, the second hint, third hint? Sometimes it takes four hints. If you press early, you lose your chance. Use it wisely. Here's the first one. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Julius Caesar. Gondola. That looks like number 40. We're having a rabbit come to you. And your answer is? Rom. No. Number 10 pushes his buzzer down and let's hear his answer. It is? Fenif. No. Would you like to hear more hints? Here's the next hint. Renaissance. Number 11. Your answer? Italy. Italy, Italia, yes! Buena, buena giorno, buena fantastica! Very good job, happy Billy, Simo! I wanted to say that. Um, yes, you're right, it is Italy, Italia, and one of those five spots is already filled. Here's the second question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Castle. Hourglass. Yellow dust. Desert. Goes together. Okay, number six has pushed his buzzer down. Your answer, sir. China. No, number 13. Light is on, and your answer? Sand. Bingo! Yeah. Very good job, of course. There's a sand castle. Inside the hourglass is sand. Even in Korean, it's called moreshige, or kind of sand clock. And yellow dust, there's some sand. And of course, where do you find sand? In the desert, the beach. Excellent job, let's have the next question. What has something to do with the following words? Nightingale. Genie. Changsa Chorong. Light. Whoa, a lot. Press down at once, looks like number six was a millisecond earlier. Lamp. Good job. Good job. Excellent job. The uh, Lady of the Lamp, Nightingale, cursed during the Crimean War, Genie, Aladdin's Lamp, and Chongsa uh, Chorong. That actually is the name of a lamp used by the government officials, if you didn't know. And light, yes, use that lamp when you go camping for light. Okay, we've got three spots filled, two to go. Next question. What do the following words have in common? Kick. Number two. With one hit, amazing. Will she get it right? 
drum roll. Brrr, your answer is? Sucker. Nice try. Next hint. Boat. Yellow. Okay, number 30. We'll go over to you and get your answer, which is? Banana. Good job. <laughs> Bend it like Beckham. Kick it and that banana kick happens, of course. Yellow, monkey, and boat. Ever ride a banana boat? Pretty fun. Okay, hopefully this next question is fun. We've got one more spot. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Sand. Panel. All right, number nine. Your light is on, and your answer is? Shirum. Uh-huh. Good. That traditional wrestling, shidem, yeah, it's pretty tough. Okay, well, these guys made it through a lot of tough hurdles, and they are there standing, five. Like I said, we're going to have a serious quiz show, serious categories, serious questions, and find a school champion. Let's go. It's amazing how things just work out. I think it was last week when we had uh, four ladies and one guy. This time it is, well, uh, the opposite. One lady and four guys. Good luck to all of you. The five of you have done such a great job. We're giving you 100 points each. And that's where we start. If you get the wrong answer at any point, you get minus zero. That's right, minus zero. But if you get the right answer, you might get 10 points, you might get 20, you might get 30 points, and if you use your chance wisely, you might double the value of your answer. Good luck to all of you, and if you guys viewing want to know who they are, please check this out. Very cool. Okay, we'll talk to them when they get the right answer. Now let's check out our board. A lot of familiar topics there. There's uh, who am I, patterns, uh, words. Ooh, super question, that's always neat, super Korea. Let's begin with a 10 point question, a history question. Although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of overcoming. This person was born in the United States. She came down with an illness at age two and became deaf and blind. Yes, number nine. Helen Keller. That's right. Very good. Pretty amazing, amazing story, and I believe that was a quote you heard. Although there's a lot of suffering in the world, a lot of people overcome, and she was one of those people. 10 points for you, very good. I heard that you like robots, is that correct? Yes. And what kind of robot would you like to make in the future? Transformer. A transformer? <coughs> awesome. All right, well, right now you need to transform our situation. We need you to choose a category. Super Korea. 
Super Korea going to stick with 10 points. Here's the Super Korea question. Hello everyone on Super Kids. Today, I'm here at the Ceramic Festival in Ichon. It is Korea's largest of its kind. Come with me and we'll take a look around. At the 22nd Ichon Ceramic Festival, there are many fabulous exhibitions as well as events that show you how traditional ceramics are made by professional potters. First, you have to gather the clay. You have to pay special attention so not to let foreign material mix with the clay for the best ceramic works. I had a go at kneading the clay just like how a potter would do it. Good kneading is essential so that it does not crack in the kiln. Wow, ceramics is so much fun! I am going to all the do-it-yourself booths to make pots and vases. I am even trying out wheel throwing. What do you think? Not bad, I say. The ceramics festival is great. I got to make ceramic works and also enjoy the beautiful scenery of Ichan. Now, here's the question. This type of pottery is famous around the world for delicate beauty of lines and Korea's unique production method. Beautiful patterns and its gray-green color are its key features. What is this pottery called? Okay, what's the pottery called, number 13? Chongja. Will we accept that? Is that a full answer or is there a longer answer? Can you repeat it, please? There you go. That's what we wanted. That's it. Yep. They wanted to get the koryo in there, the koryo chongja. Amazing stuff, amazing pottery. And uh, let's see, number 13, you are now tied. I wanted to ask you something about science. I heard you really like science. Yes. I heard you really like science, is that correct? Yes. And that's why you want to be a scientist in the future? Yes. There's a lot of scientists, different types of scientists. Is there an area you like more? Someone who works with chemicals, someone who works with satellites, what kind of scientist? Um, I like some scientist who cares about the chemistries and stuff. Chemistry and stuff. Okay, great. Please choose a category. Sayings. Sayings. We're going to jump to the 20 point questions. Pick up your ears. The following sayings all have this word in common. What word goes in all the blanks? Killing two blanks with one stone. Number 13 again. Birds. He says bird. Is that correct? Yeah. Very good. Yes, killing two birds with one stone. It is a, a saying you hear in many different languages. Birds of a feather flock together. I hear those birds behind me that flock. And the early bird catches the worm. Yes. So if you wake up early, you get rewards for doing so. I wake up early a lot, and I just dislike the taste of worms. But you now have 130 points. Another category, please. Super question. Super question yeah. for 20 points. OK. Super Kids, 여러분. 안녕하세요, 반갑습니다. 네, 지금쯤이면 여러분들 진짜 퀴즈 푸시느라고 네. 뭔가 마음이 많이 지쳐 있을 것 같아요. 맞아요. 이런 지친 마음을 또 저희가 달래줄 수 있는 방법이 있잖아요. 그렇죠. 선물. Be forever with you. 너의 달콤한 목소리가 내 이름을 부를 때. 너의 촉촉한 눈빛들이 내 얼굴을 스칠 때. 자, 자 여기까지. 네. 이런 아, 선물을 드렸는데 여러분들 이제 뭔가 많이 많이 녹으셨나요? 녹았죠. 그렇습니다. 바로. 이 상황에서 저희가 문제를 드리도록 하겠습니다. 네. 
이렇게 반주나 어떤 특별한 악기 소리 없이 사람의 육성만으로 우리의 그런 화음만으로만 들려드릴 수 있는 노래를 과연 무엇이라고 할까? Once again, what's it called? Singing with no instrument. Those guys sang, and there was no instruments, no drums, no guitar. They sang. Thank you very much, Padan, by the way. Always love those super questions. What do you call that? Of course, they had harmony. That's not it. We're looking for the term. Just voice, singing without musical instruments or instrumental accompaniment. What do you call that? A lot of great groups do that. There's uh, Bobby McFerrin. There's uh, a lot of great groups. What do you call that? Five seconds. All right, we had some help from Padam. Thank you very much. The answer is a cappella. A cappella. Oh, yeah, a cappella. Well, they asked me if I could sing with them. I'm like, sorry, guys, I'm busy doing Super Kids. Maybe next time. All right, well, it is still your choice. Still your choice. Which category would you like? Words. Words. Words for 10 points. Here we go. What word commonly fits in all the blanks? Blank ground. Number 13. Back. He said back. Normally we have three words with three spots. Is that right? Oh my goodness, very good. Um, the other words were blank pack and feed blank. Of course, there's background, backpack, which all of you probably have at least one of, and feedback. Good job, Gio. Um, of course, Gio's your Korean name, but I immediately thought of go, G-O. Of course, you are going and going. Right now, you're in the lead, 140 points. That's a very attainable lead. So anybody who wants to try to catch up, We'll see what happens. All the 30 point questions are intact. Nobody's used their chance yet. And we also have a 20 point question. What's your choice, Gio? Patterns. 20 points, patterns. Look carefully at the following pattern. How many blocks will the fourth figure have? Number six. 36. He says 36 pretty quickly. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Yeah, very good. Really good. Very quick. And with that, you've jumped into the second place. Let me just take a second and uh, look at the scoreboard. Number six has 120 points, like I said, in second place. Number nine, 110. In the middle, number 11, 100. Number 13 with that lead, 20 point lead, 140. And number 30, 100 points as well. Okay, number six, you're a pretty tall guy. Do you like basketball? Yeah. And who do you normally play with? With my brother. Older brother or younger brother? Older brother. Is he better than you? Yeah. Is he taller than you? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, what's your choice? Mm. Map. Map for 30 points. First chance being used. Anybody else? Okay. For everybody except number nine, it's worth 30 points. For number nine, potentially 60 points. Here's the map question. You are looking at Korea's longest mountain range, called the Pektu Tegan, in the map. This mountain range starts from Mount Pektu and goes through Mount Tebek to this mountain in the southern region. It spans over Cholla and Gyeongsan provinces. What is it called? So, to kind of rephrase, yes, number six. Tebek. 
now that's not it. Number 11. That's not it either. Number 9. Nope. Right now, number 13 and number 30 have a chance. 13 or 30. Give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Yes, number nine. Jimmy Mountain. If that is correct, you double the value. The only person to use the chance. If not, well, we'll see who gets the right answer. Is that the correct answer? Yes, it is. Very good. Very good. Mr. Transformer transformed the scoreboard. He now is in the lead. Wow, the only guys who use the chance. So why did you use your chance? Do you have more confidence with maps than art or who am I? Um, I like geography. Okay, excellent job, wow. 170, two more 30 point questions. Everybody else has their chance. What's your choice of a category? Who am I? Who am I? Okay. Everybody else going for it. All right. Who am I is the category. For number nine, it's worth 30 points. For everybody else, it's worth 60 points. Here is the who am I question. Who am I? I have lots of backbone but lack a good leg. I peel like an onion. Number 11. Oh. Uh. Three. Oh, snake. snake. One more time. Snake. She said snake. Is that right? Yes, it is. Good job. Very good job. OK. So guys, take those chances down. Take those chances down. Everybody's used them. Very good job. Have lots of backbone, but no leg. Of course, a snake, that's true. Peel like an onion, they do kind of shed their skin every once in a while. And uh, whew, they kind of smell. We had other hints as well, but snake is correct. With that, 60 points, your first correct answer, number 11. Excellent job. You are now in second place. Um, now, Yunso. This last question is worth 30 points. So if number 9 gets it, he wins. Number 11 gets it, she wins. Number 13 gets it, he ties the score. So anything can happen. There's really no choice here. The last category is a 30 point question in art. <sighs> here it is. The following painting is called The Angelus done by a French painter. He usually painted the lifestyle of farmers and their surrounding nature. His famous artworks include The Gleaners and The Sower. Who is he? We want the name of an artist. The name of an artist. Once again, did a lot of famous stuff. French painter. French painter. Yes, number nine. Morning. Is that, no, that's not right. Yes, number 11. If that is correct, she becomes a school champion. If not, well, we still have other people who have a chance. Is that the right answer? Yes, it is! School champion! Four guys, one lady, and the lady gets it. Great job, the school champion, and that school champion will join me and you in that final round. Let's go! It was four to one. And all the guys were like, oh great, she's a school champion. Yes, she is. 
What was the most challenging part so far, Yunso? The panic attack. Yeah? Okay. I have another question. I know you want to be a historian, someone who loves history. Is there someone in history that you love and admire and respect more than other people? Uh, Sejong-Dewang. Because? Uh, because he did many things for Korea, like uh, making Hangul and Hunmin jong -un. Yes. I gotta say, on behalf of foreigners, Hangul is very easy to learn and read, so thank you very much. Uh, I very much respect him too. Okay, um, I have a question for me. Uh, how many years did you work in Arirang TV? I guess uh, eight or ten. It feels like a hundred though. <laughs> okay, so let's get to our master word. Your mission right now is to get to one word. Now, it's kind of a course, it's kind of a windy trail, some hurdles. You have to go through a crossword puzzle. You will choose one. We have three prepared, randomly. Some are a little more easier, some are more difficult. You'll choose one, you get a bunch of questions. The more words you get, the more letters are revealed on that master word. When you're all finished, then I'll give two hints also connected to that master word. Hopefully, if you get it, you're not the school champion, you are the super kid. Now, you do have an option of saying pass if you don't know what the word is, what the answer is. If you do say pass, five seconds are eaten off the clock. They tick down. All right, let's see those letters connected to those random crossword puzzles. Your choice? S. S as in super kid. Okay, good luck. This means large or small in clothes. Uh, pass. What is two minus two? Money used in the United States. Dollar. The highest part of a mountain, also called the top. Pass. A king's son. Prince. Anchors tell you this on TV or radio. News. A train that runs mostly underground. Subway. Korea, Japan, and China are in this continent. Asia. Okay, I think you just ran out of time, and you're probably right. As a matter of fact, you are, but that would not have given you another letter. The purpose of the crossword puzzle is to get as many letters as possible in that master word. You can see you have the first one, a B, and there in the middle is the K. Didn't get that last letter but having the first letter is much more important. That's a key letter. Okay, like I said earlier, I'm gonna give you two words, two hints connected to that master word. The first one is morning. Morning. You have a look on your face like you might know the answer. She's smiling. <laughs> Do you wanna take a guess? Breakfast. Does it fit in all the blanks? Yes. Hmm. She might be right. You want to see if it's right? Yes. If you're right, you're the super kid. Don't need the second one. Is that the correct answer? Yes, indeed. Very good job. Cool. Here's your prize, super kid. Not only the school champion, but a true super kid. Wow, two weeks in a row, very exciting. Yeah, good job, good job. A lot of support. Look at this camera, you wanna see something to mom and dad? Uh, I thank you mom and dad uh, for taking care of me. And thank you Sejong Daewon. Okay, <laughs> join us again next week for another round of Super Kids! <laughs>
introducing our prizes for the winners. The super kid will receive a notebook computer. The school champion receives a digital camera, while second to fifth place will receive an MP3 player. All contestants will receive a gift certificate from Super Kids. Hold on! What would summer vacation be without a super special Super Kid special? If you want to be a Super Kid, sign up by July 10th. We have special prizes prepared for you. A family trip to the Philippines, laptop computer, digital camera, and so much more. It's all waiting for you. Where are you from? Let's have a great time today. So if you could get me. Right, and we'd like to <laughs> It goes in there. So five, four. That just happened last episode. Very exciting. Very cool.